What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another installment here of Honest and Uneducated, the show where we talk about anything from movies, movie news, video games, comic books, hot toys, collectibles, just all sorts of fun stuff like that. We got a number of things to kind of get into here today. There's it was kind of a light week of news, and I think everything was kind of trumped by you know, Zack Schneider's Justice League and then Falcon Winter Soldier. That's pretty much going to be the two main things we talk about. But there was some other interesting things in here, like a poster and release date for Loki. More Game of Thrones spinoff shows have been announced. So we're going to break down some of that stuff. Joining me today to go over all that is none other than John Knight himself. How are you doing today, John? Good, man. I'm glad to be back. I, uh, I'm doing real good, man. Like, <laughs> we'll get into it but but i was i wasn't sure how i'd feel after you know some of the releases that came out these past couple of days and you know, let's just say they turned out very well for me I was, I was very pleased yeah i mean that was kind of the the thing right like we we all knew snyder cut was coming it's been a big deal it's been hyped up probably overhyped and uh yeah it was definitely worrisome and then falcon winter soldier for most people even me included was always for the longest time until that Loki trailer, which I've said a number of times now, was my most anticipated series, and it has to follow up Wandavision and all this stuff. But they both turned out good. Like, yeah. So I say it was definitely a what uh, it's like an embarrassment of riches for for people like us right now. Like yeah, Snyder definitely. Cut, then Falcon, and then in like a week we have Godzilla, and then yeah, this, it's a couple weeks later we get Mortal Kombat. Yeah, and then and then yeah. maybe Black Widow shortly after yeah. that. <laughs> like yeah. it's just kind of you tell it's, ten year old me this, and like he's he wouldn't believe you. <laughs> yeah, I I posted something somewhere. I just said, you know, with with there was also. I mean, this is not something we get into normally on the show, but they also did a big update for um, the Marvel Avengers game. Um, oh, I saw this, that you, you, you got the uh, upgraded version of it for the new consoles for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. So you got the updated graphics and everything. Plus, you got a big content drop with a new playable character character in uh, Hawkeye. And um, so, yeah, it was it, it's almost like in the past 24 to 48 hours, the entertainment industry is trying to make up for the. Uh, lull that we had to go through with the whole entire pandemic so yeah and definitely over the next few weeks too all all the stuff that's coming out it's 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 really crazy and also exciting but a little overwhelming like i haven't even gotten into avengers yet because um of you know keeping up with the other two that we mentioned well two um i just saw i thought you were going to say this because i just saw that they announced black panther for the avengers game yes they did that will be later this fall but um yeah they 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 had a big drop thursday i mean we had the snyder cut and which was four hours but then the avengers game got a you know people referred to it as kind of like the the second release of the game it's a this is their their attempt to um to basically get people either back to the game or get people to try the game that never did in the first place because of all the bad press that was around it at the beginning yeah. uh, they fixed a lot of bugs and stuff that were in it and um they're they're now but they've made they've given a roadmap of when the content drops are coming uh the black panthers i think gonna be like a fall release um it's supposed to be a pretty major expansion to the game too and yeah, it, it says good. war for wakanda expansion yeah coming yep. later this year yeah and it's yeah, supposed I mean, to be pretty good, good. and honestly dude I, I probably need to try to go back and play that game too because i played I didn't play much of it. I maybe only played it for a couple hours. Like I, I didn't get, I didn't even finish a campaign or anything like that. Um, I just had so much other stuff going on because I, I liked yeah. it. The only thing I told you was just, a, it's just one of those games. It's it, there's no way to avoid it. It just has a very repetitive gameplay loop, very like, repetitious. Yes, yeah. That's, yeah. And then the only other thing that kind of like, I don't know if it, I would really consider it a detractor or anything, but the end game isn't really anything new and exciting. It's just kind of more of the same stuff you already did. Like, yep. so like, yep. not that that's like a huge reason why I didn't continue playing it. Cause like I enjoyed playing it. And like you said, it's just fun to be playing as a character in the, in that world, you know? Sure. So it's like, if you like the Marvel universe and you'd probably like the game, like, yeah, I think all you know. the characters 
play really well. I mean, they, you know, you do get a sense that you are those characters. They're, they're all unique enough that, you know, I mean, Cap has his shield. You chuck his shield around. You do cool, like, leap, leaping kicks and flips and, you know, tossing people around. Iron Man is very much his armor. You're, you're using lasers and rockets and stuff from out of his armor. You know, Black Widow is, you know, has her pistols and, you know, a staff and electrified staff and her gauntlets that she uses. And Thor, of course, with his hammer. So they all play very unique. The, the Hulk is just a huge tank. Like, he, mm -hmm. he just... He just sheer power over over enemies. Um, so it's not like the the characters themselves are repetitious. They feel like the characters are they are. And um, but but yes, the, there are only a handful of environments. There are only a handful of scenarios, and and it's just variations on each of those when it comes to handful of enemy types. And it's just variations on those when it comes to running missions and stuff. So, I, you know, I. I I felt like, uh, but I, I'd already been through that repetition with like games like Destiny and stuff, and so I kind of expected that. I was hoping that maybe they they get a little more variety. The one thing that they always promised were these aim labs, which are supposed to be their version of raids, and um, those are still yet to come out. They they are apparently coming. They 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 assure people that they are coming, um, but they're not quite there yet. The other the other main the main problem I think that would have really helped the game is if they had loot that actually looked like something in game as it is right now, when you get a mm -hmm. loot piece, it doesn't change your character's appearance at all. There's no, there's no identifier that you actually have that piece of loot besides you knowing that besides whatever benefits bonuses, it gives you stat bonuses, it the gives stats, you whatever yeah. special abilities it gives you. Um, there's no, I like when you got, Galahorn and Destiny, and you pulled it out. Like everybody knew, oh, that's that. That's Galahorn. He's got Galahorn. That's that's awesome. It's it's you know doing this or that. You know, I think in other you know, we started uh, World of Warcraft last night. I think you know I, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure when you get loot and you're wearing it, people see you and they know that oh, you've got this. You did this content to get that. Um, I'll tell you what, now, now that you say that for one, I felt like Obi-Wan Kenobi and a new hope when you said Galahorn, I was like, Oh, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, with the gear thing that I think that is 100% one of the biggest mistakes they made because like chasing gear and chasing like cosmetic upgrades is like so popular and it's just, oh, it's yeah. a very, it's an instant gratification for the user. So like, yep. or the player. So like, Having the the appearance strictly tied to skins, but it's also a looting game, is a yep. very odd choice. Like yeah. I, I definitely think that was a mistake. I get that they would they didn't want the characters to look weird with like mashups of random gear, but that's why you add transmog, which is like what WoW has, where you can change the appearance of the gear based on any appearances that you've collected. So that's what I was gonna say with like with WoW nowadays because of transmog you can look like anything like, you sure. know what I mean? Like, so it's kind of like, cause back in the day, that was exactly like how it worked. And it was like the coolest thing. Cause like you, if you saw some dude with, you know, thunder fury, the legendary sword, like you knew that dude had thunder fury and you were just like, holy shit. Like this yeah, dude is knew a what he did to get it Right. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. And like, but yeah, now I mean, it's like a eh. certain amount of gloating or boasting that you can do yeah. in game when you have especially when it's a multi online player game like you you want to be proud of your achievements and stuff um well then it inspires this... people like to want it because they see you with this awesome weapon if they don't know what it is they're going to look up they're going to inspect you they're going to see the name they're going to look up how they can get it and they're going to want to go get yeah. it you know it's like yeah. a, it's a never ending cycle so it's yeah. like yeah it's Loot's important. He's like, you got to feel like you're being rewarded. And like, loot is sure. the easiest instant reward, you know? Sure. So I definitely think that was a mistake. Not like, not a terrible thing, but I don't know. It's just, it's like I said, it's odd to have a loot based game, but you, you, you don't see it. <laughs> like, you might as well just be leveling up uh, and just, it putting the stat points in like a talent tree. Well, and that's like, you know and I mean? that's basically I mean that's almost what the game is now. I mean the only real 
drive behind the game is to get your character to level 50 and then get, get your power level up to 150. Once you achieve both of those, if you're no longer grinding for a specific loot because the loot really doesn't have much impact on the game. Now, you know, I'm, I'm sure that there are people that are deep in, much deeper into the game than I am that will tell you, oh, no, there is there's there's very like if you get the legendary loot that has this bonus or whatever, it does this and it does this awesome thing. It's like, well, that's great, but that's not real. You know, there's nothing to signify that. Like it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. The and there's not there's also not because there aren't raids, there isn't that high level in-game content yeah, exactly. to make that high level loot necessary or you know d- desired but even necessary to a certain extent like yeah you know like what so. do you need it for because it's like you should be doing stuff to get good enough gear to do the raids and all like all that yeah. great gear should come from the raids you know yeah. like and right now there's just like it's just not even an option sounds like like neither of that's yeah. even there so yeah Nevertheless, I had something else I was going to say about the uh, gear. Damn it. What was I going to say? <laughs> Sorry, I got you off track there. It doesn't matter. It, it's we're done. It, it's, it doesn't even matter. Yeah.